The auto resend campaign automatically sends a second email if your subscribers didn't open or click on the first email you sent out. Now, this works extremely well. You can increase your open rates by 30%, but just like with any other method, don't overdo it because if you use it again and again, people will just stop paying attention that much. So use it only for some maybe special events or extremely good offers or for some important information you need to share. And this is how you can actually do this. Let's go. To create an auto recent campaign from the dashboard, go and click create right over here or go to campaigns here and then click create campaign. Give your campaign a name. I'm just going to call it new event. And then I'm going to choose auto recent here and click save and continue. Now we have three types of auto recent campaign. The first email goes out with one subject line, for example, new event, and then I can change the subject line of the same second email. So the second email will be the same as the first one, but I'll just change the subject line. I can also have different email subject lines and a personal message. The first email goes out with this subject line and the second email can go out with a different subject line or the same subject line, but there will also be a personal message above the same email and the subject line will have this text added so it will look like it has been forwarded from you. I'm going to delete this because I don't need this. This will be added automatically. And the last type of auto recent campaigns allows you to change the subject line and also change the content itself. So you can have two different emails with two different subject lines. But I'm going to stick with email subject line and personal message. I like this one the most. Once I'm done with setting this, I can just go ahead and click Next Content. Now here, as usual, you can choose My Templates, start from scratch, Template Gallery, or Recent Emails. I'm going to go with Template Gallery, and I'm going to use this Conference Template. Then just edit the template to your liking and click Done Editing. And now for the personal message. You can go ahead and paste it in here. If you want, you can add some personalization. If you have, of course, say the name of your subscribers in your database you can add that done editing when you're done choose your subscribers I'm just gonna go ahead and click this demo students group and click next settings who gets the second email let's go with people who haven't opened the email click next review and here's the review we can change the subject line by clicking edit info but I'm going to leave the first and second one the same. Then we can change the content here by editing it here, sending a test email, previewing it, and also we can do the same thing with, with the second content. Send the test email, edit the message, and preview. And let's actually preview so we can see how this actually looks. There we go. Here is the email, and here is that little message. Of course, in the email client, it's not going to be aligned to the left. Your email client will format this correctly. And just to make sure, like I said, you can always test out the email. Oh, one last thing. You can also click, of course, mobile here to see how it will look. There we go. X when you're done. And now I'm going to scroll down and click schedule. We can either send it now or send it later where we fill out the date, the time zone, and the time. I'm going to leave this as send now. And then we can send it after one day. This is the default setting or schedule a time where the second email with that message will be sent. I'm going to just leave it like this. Click send. And there we go. The email is being sent and we can soon see it in the send folder right over here. And here we go. It has disappeared from the outbox. The first email has gone out. We can click view report nothing yet because it just has gone out and if we click auto recent overview we can see the second email that will be delivered in one day we can send it now if we wish so the second one will go out right now or we can stop the auto recent in which case only the first email went out and we decided that the second one we're not going to send and that's about it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video 
Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.